Welcome to the 2017 annual survey for our fish population here at Lake Heritage. Every fall, Aquatic Environment Consultants comes in and does a fish survey to determine the health of our fish stock. Our participants this year were Stephanie and Tina from the office, Fred Shanker, myself, and Joe Richard, who's recording this whole thing. In a nutshell, here's how the survey works. You can see the uh, John boat. They've got a little generator in there. The uh, probes coming out the front have a mild current in the water. And as you can see, he's lifting out the fish. They get a mild shock. It stuns them for a little while. Does not hurt the fish at all. They put them on a boat in a wet well to make sure they're healthy throughout the whole process. The fish are then removed from the wet well. They're all weighed and measured and put back into the lake and records kept for every fish. And that walleye like uh, yeah. well, they do have nice walleye. That's my dad's favorite fish right there. He went fishing. Why? 186. Large mouth. Fourteen four. Uh, <laughs> you don't need them. White perch eight. I don't want to get rid of these. Large mouth eleven nine. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? You're embarrassing me here. Why? They won't open their mouth. They're big, they're hard to handle. <laughs> Eighteen nine. White perch, seven. Where's the herring? Where's our buddy? There's White perch, eight. There. He's over there. There's, there's some food for him. <laughs> Large mouth, eight. Do you want an exact? Oh. Right. Bill, it's uh, good to see you out here again this year. Um, I know we've done this for a lot of years. What's your off the top first impression of, of uh, how this year went? Well, the fish surveys, uh, what I'm primarily going to comment on, looking at uh, you know, the quality of the fishery, it's basically holding its own, staying the same types of situations that we've had before. The walleye are growing big, the bass, we've got some very large, nice bass this year. Uh, we're still seeing a lot of the white perch, which is a big problem. Seeing a few yellow perch, which is encouraging because the white perch tend to crowd out the uh, yellow perch. So. Uh, fishery looks good. We are kind of in the middle of shocking right now, so we haven't really gone and looking for the hybrid stripers yet. But we'll work some of those areas where we uh, where we find the stripers. Bill, last year when we did this, we had a lot of six-inch largemouth, um, and you said last year's spawn was really pretty good. What do you think this year's compared to it as far as uh, the largemouth go? Uh, we've only done one tank so far, so uh, we're seeing some young of the year. We're seeing some small largemouth. I uh, really can't say for sure exactly how it compares to last year, but we are seeing carryover from that last year's year class. Uh, we're picking up those two-year-old fish, so that's a good sign, those two-year-old largemouth. Uh, Bill, you also mentioned that we had uh, some small catfish this year, mm -hmm. uh, and you, you talked about spawning and, and they need to uh, spawn in, in hides. Uh, do you feel that the, uh, the fact that we have oxygen all the way down the bottom now has opened up a lot more um, spawning area for the cats? Uh, that could have something to do with it. Uh, the catfish like a cavity to get back into that basically has one entrance like a closed off pipe or a crevice in the rocks, that type of thing. Uh, but the, probably the, the amount of young of the year catfish that we're seeing or two year ones and two year old catfish um, is something that we've not really experienced before. So that's a unique thing and it's carryover from those catfish that were stocked years ago. There was some stocking that had taken place and now those fish are reproducing in here. So people should be looking to catch catfish. All right. Bill, how, uh, what's your impression of the clarity of the lake this year as opposed to, uh, to past years? Uh, last year when we did the survey, uh, Randy, the lake was very, very green. And in fact, we had trouble seeing the fish. Uh, 
most of the summer this year the lakes remain very uh, well controlled for the algae which is a good thing uh, the uh, clarity is much better uh, oxygen's uh, working its way down we have better oxygen which uh, causes the fish population to actually have more habitat so you have an increased habitat uh, more volume of water for them to live in which should ultimately increase the carrying capacity for the lake um, and end up having uh, you know much more pounds of fish per acre in the lake so that's a good thing and that'll just spread out and diversify amongst the various species but like I said with the catfish that may be one reason that uh, we've opened up some habitat where they have better reproduction uh, potential and that's why we're seeing an increase in these young catfish. My final question, Bill, um, looking at what you've, you've done so far, and I know you haven't finished yet, uh, where do you think we need to go as far as, as stocking for predators this, this year? Well, we, we focus our stocking efforts on those species that don't reproduce. The largemouth, are, there's three predators in the lake, the largemouth bass, the hybrid striped bass, and the walleye. Uh, the, the largemouth bass will reproduce on their own and they're doing so and we have from time to time supplemented those whenever we feel like we're not getting a year class uh, but for most part where you put your dollars I would tend to put those into the, either the hybrid straight bass or into the walleye and as far as which we go with at this point I'll have more details for you after we complete the survey today. So. Find out the other end of the ballroom with the minnow and just sit there. <laughs> I put chicken liver on the bottom and sit there with chicken liver on the bottom. They love chicken liver. Hybrid stripers? They love chicken liver. Oh my god, do they put ever. Chicken liver That's right. how we get them at night. Chicken liver on the bobber and just cast it out. No, That's no bobber. Stink bait for no bobber right on the bottom with the slip sinker so they can't feel the lot.